Each season, every college basketball coach faces the same challenge, to take a different group of guys and mold them together to make the best team possible. That's something that Fred Hoiberg has excelled at in years one, two, and three on the job, and he'll try to do it again in year four. Taking all the little pieces of the puzzle, putting them together to make the best team possible. Well, the, the biggest thing that we try to talk to these guys about all the time is chemistry. Uh, you know, being able to police themselves. They have to be able to talk to one another without taking it personal. Uh -huh. I got a question. Yes. So if Melvin, like, say he can test up, can I just grab it out the... Yeah, but talk it out. So, okay. you Mel, run, Mel, run. Okay. Yes, gold sprint back. Okay, you got it? Let's go, man. Okay. Let's execute. The best teams I ever played on uh, were the teams uh, that had great interaction uh, between the players. Danny? First. Yep, Danny. Hey, Amen. Portland? Ty? Coach? Nazi? Uh, they're together so much more than the coaching staff is with those guys. Uh, so they really have to be able to bond and, and come together as a group. And, and that's what our last couple years uh, have accomplished. Clyburn on the dribble with seven seconds. Over to the right wing. Clyburn driving, spinning. Gets it to Niang for a layup. And George Niang put it in. Two seconds to go. Here's Harris having troubles. Block free. And Iowa State wins it. With uh, being able to come together, uh, everybody finding a way to be on the same page and really to accept uh, their roles as they became established. Go again, go again. Nez, you got to get back and touch that corner, okay? Touch corner, all right, and lift out of there, okay? That'll set up to get the, get the proper spacing. Here we go, rip fist. Um, that's going to be the big thing with this group with so many new faces. Uh, we have to find a uh, way to do that and do it early. Hoiberg is effective because he communicates. Okay, as so you swing that thing, Naz, all right, we swing it around to Dustin. Okay, Dre, try to catch him at this angle right here. Okay, all right, Matt and Naz both did a good job the other day of setting it here. All right, that guy went right into his chest to get a layup here. This year in particular, with six new faces expected to play key roles, that communication is essential. I, I think he, he blows it out of the water. Uh, he, he's so great with, with communicating with you. Like, like I said, he, he can uh, get on you when, when you're making silly mistakes, but then come back and put his arm around you and, and comfort you and tell you like, listen, you need to do this better, you need to do this better. Good lift, George, get out. Go ahead and get out to allow him to get in that whole room here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want you to lift and go there, okay? Because some coaches, I feel like uh, they'll get out there and they'll just yell at you and then when practice is over, it, it's just over with. He'd be the one to uh, call you and be like, hey, why don't you come watch film? Just so he makes sure that you understand the things that he wants you to do and that just makes things so much smoother. All right, you're rolling in. You could have him on the shake action. So he's, coming off weak side. he's coming off either side, George. It's a read on Melvin's part on what side he sets the screen on. That's right. Monte Morris was Mr. Basketball in Michigan. He's a well-credentialed talent entering the Big 12. But with very few exceptions, there is a big adjustment for any freshman playing at such a high level. Morris says that's where Hoiberg is helping so much. Good. Here we go. Gold here. Right down here with me. Let's go. He's a big time communicator. Um, he 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 can draw up some plays that you know you'll be like, wow, how did we even get an open look like that? George, get space down there now. Okay, when we get that thing out top, all right, you got to get out wide so Melvin has that angle to dive down there. Which one on the screen? When he screened it, he rolled right into you because you stay down. You got to get out wide. He could take any any group of players on our team and you know make us look like all Americans. That's it. Good. Good pace. That's it, KJ. Good. That's the way to finish it. Good, KJ. Here we go. Ball, ball, Mel, ball, Mel. It's so different. It's like a foreign language to them. Uh, those first few practices, uh, changing things up from the way they did things uh, in their high school and AAU careers. Or, hey, there's nothing wrong with throwing that thing ahead either, okay? Here you go, Tyler. Here you go, Tyler. You have to be patient uh, with these guys. Uh, but I'll, I'll say this. They, they pick things up very well. If they make a mistake, you only have to tell them once, uh, and they'll correct it. Uh, you need to watch a lot of film with them. Uh, let's try to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. Uh, and I think that'll pay off. He never yells, you know, raises his voice at a level where you like, man, that's kind of disrespectful. So, you know, everybody's showing respect and he gives respect back. Hey, Naz, hit pick the picker. Okay, right into a ball screen. Here we go. You're hitting Monty. You're hitting Monty. Go get him, Tyler. Go get him, Tyler. Right into it. Good. There you go. If I make a play, great pass, Monte, good shot. Um, and just, he just like team basketball. That's all, you know, and he want everybody to put their egos aside and just play as a unit. Good, that's it. Good job. Good, good. A year ago at this time, George Niang was in Morris's shoes, a newcomer trying to learn as much as he could, as quickly as he could. He doesn't really get on you, but he holds you accountable. So I never felt any pressure to uh, uh, being out on the court and, and feeling nervous and not being in the right spot. And more like he, he lets it come natural to you. Set that thing and go. Set that thing and separate, okay? 
he knows that things are going to take time and that success doesn't come right away. Separate, separate. That's it, George. Good. So he gives you the benefit of the doubt that you come in and see him and, and work on things that you need to work on and spacing on the court. And then he knows that you're eventually going to get it because uh, he the system is so easy that there should never be a bad shot. Coach, yes. Dusty's in the corner. Yes. DeAndre's on the wing like yes. that. He starts dribbling this way. Does he lift like on a shake action? Yes. Yeah, Dustin, yes, yeah. Doc Sadler has been a part of college basketball for 30 years. He's seen all kinds of different personalities in head coaching roles, including his own. Sadler says Hoiberg always has his players believing that they'll be successful. I think he has an unbelievable ability to give players confidence. If I come down here, if I'm guarding you, you got to get all the way over right there, and you're going to be impossible to guard. That guy on top of the eye can't get to you. So many times coaches maybe take confidence away and try to get them to do things that they want, whereas uh, his players are, are always playing with uh, a very, very high level of it, and, and I think that's a very unique ability that he has. Watch every time you're shooting now, okay, you're kind of landing here, all right, your back pedal, stick that, stick that landing. All right. He gives the players the trust uh, that, that he's going to put them in a position that they're going to succeed. That's right, yeah. All right, the way you ran it last time was perfect, okay? And, and, and when those things don't happen, uh, he doesn't look at them, he looks at himself. You get a little 54 action here, okay? But I want it with pace. Okay. Drag week, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm getting excited. Here we go. Come on, George. Each of Coach Hoiberg's first three teams have gotten better as seasons have evolved, and that'll certainly be the case again this year. There's going to be some bumps in the road early, but history tells us that Coach Hoiberg will have a chemistry necessary to take on the top teams in college basketball come March. When you play in the NBA, you know, you might have 10 new guys coming in on a given year. And then the next season, you might have five or six new ones uh, from the previous year. Uh, so, you know, you have to find a way to fit those players into your system. And, and I think the way we play, uh, you know, I don't have one set system that we're going to run year after year after year. All right, Dustin, you come over here. All right, let's go through. Regular through with a stick, okay? That's through stick for you now, okay? You got it? Uh, we've got uh, a lot of things that we will carry over uh, from year to year, but you know we'll try to adapt our system based on who we're bringing in as players, and I think that's made us successful. Finish, Danny. Finish, Danny. Finish, Danny. There you go. 